Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Soul of Jigoken and we have the Dragon Sword. Alright. Now I got my From Tato Hobby. I had it for weeks now and just haven't had a chance to review it till now. Never too late to do reviews. <laughs> and uh, this is a really huge treat for me and just relieving my nostalgia. I grew up in the 90s and watching Power Rangers is like one of the things, you know, along with Pokemon later on in that, uh, I think, yeah, Pokemon was a little later in the late uh, 90s. I think well, that was after uh, Power Rangers. But uh, I remembered having the older set, or I had it. I had to let it go when I moved here in the U.S. Yeah, I was watching Power Rangers back in Philippines, and it was, it's a big thing over there at uh, that, you know, that point of time. On the back here, we got all the awesome combination as I remember it. And I reviewed the Megazord and it's great. Uh, there's a few differences, but definitely, especially the, the, the Mastodon or the Mammoth. There was a lot of improvements on that one. And now we're going to check out the Dragon Zord. Now I remember when you had the old Dragon Zord, you, it comes with a 6, inch, a six or 7 inch uh, Green Ranger. And that, that was really cool. This one though, you're just gonna get <laughs> the dragon sword, but you gotta have all that diecast goodness. All right, now there is the Titanus that are announced. I'm not sure if I want to go for that. That is that's gonna be a big piece and gonna be ridiculously expensive. And I get to the point, you know what? I think I'm just happy with this set, uh, just having the Megazord and Dragon Sword. Uh, although if they ever make a the, the tiger tiger sword that would be cool Maybe something I, I want to give a try. Well, if ever they get to that point Anyways, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside All right, We get the booklet here Inside got a bit of instructions. So we have a segmented tail that needs to be connected to each other Then uh, you get the first mode the dragon sword fighting mode, which is a combination of the saber tooth Triceratops and the Macedon. There we go. Then you're gonna have the Mega Dragon Zord, where you put the Dragon Zord down on top of the Mega Zord, essentially. There we go. And you get the Power Staff, which is actually kind of interesting how they did this on this one. So, get the Power Pointer. And that's pretty much it for the booklet. All right, here we go. We got the Dragon Zord, and it is amazing. Out of the box, we got a nice. Chrome plated, you can see your reflection there. Really nice. Goes along to the side here. Nice chrome plating. There we go. Amazing. Even the crest on top here. It's really nice. All right, so we have that there. And uh, yeah, it's just how I remember Dragon Zord. Very nostalgic. Now, this one does come with uh, the tail that we need to attach now this one is plastic which is great you don't want this to be die cast um, typically the die cast as we've seen on a lot of figures are on the lower legs or the lower part of the body so in here from what I can tell this one feels like die cast the lower leg here just from the touch method uh, this one is plastic this might be just painted or it could be die cast hard to tell the toes here but the top here that's definitely that's just painted I think uh, even the front part here yeah it's painted plastic yeah even the chrome here it's it's a uh, too light uh, to say that it's um, yeah die cast the joints though that's definitely die cast right there all right so uh something to put the tail on we're gonna go ahead and attach them they're in a bull joint system here I'm just gonna pop that in there we go and uh, this one is a little interesting how they did this get a right edging joint there and you're just gonna align it and that one goes on top and we're just gonna push that in there there we go it doesn't go all the way in and this is to kind of give you a bit of space to move the tail now the cool part about this, you can actually move all the joints 
out and you get a quite bit of articulation there really nice I like that although there is a tendency to pop that off <laughs> but nonetheless that is an awesome articulation there I don't recall the old one doing that so there you go another cool thing that they've uh, provided for us is this pair of hands now this is more relaxed compared to that one that one is a bit more rigid it's like for a cannon but this kind of gives it a bit more natural look to it I, it's it's <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this kind of looks like a Godzilla to me and it's not a dragon I don't think that's a dragon so definitely I want that the, you know, the claw thing although this one if you ask someone from who's a fan of Gundams or is into Gundams it reminds me of, reminds of Psycho Gundam Psycho Gundam has that uh, cannon fingers. Actually, is there another Gundam? Or... Oh, there's probably another mecha out there that share the same thing. There we go. So, let's put this. Yep, that's a nub mark. Good thing it's inside though. This is kind of difficult to do. Come on. Whoop! I'm afraid of that. Yeah, this is something that you want to do when you're hugging the figure. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do when you're like reaching over. All right, so there we go. I kind of like that more. Really nice. All right, so uh, let's go over some articulations or furthermore the articulation in terms of the body. All right, what we got here. This thing can go up. There's this segment here that I think collapses. Uh, I think that's for something else. Alright, so it's just that. You got your arms here that can move up and down. It can go out too, but that's kind of part of the transformation. There is a tab here though. Oh, this one is just to... Yeah. That's actually... Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So this hand, I was hoping you can bend this one too. You can't. You have to swap this out if you want to fold it in. All right. So we're just gonna leave it that for now. Let's try get it back in place. There we go. Uh, obviously there's not gonna be a waist uh, swivel because of how this thing is connected together. It's in a half. It just pegs in place. We got the leg, move forward a bit, move back. I don't think, yeah, I think that's just a limitation of how we can move. Uh, I don't think there is a, I don't think you can do the split at all. Then you get your knee, which is not too bad. Although, actually, I think that might be part of the transformation, yeah. I was hoping why not they make it bigger, but uh, they can't. It has to be able to go in. All right, so that's that. And then you got your ankle articulation. I see a hinge there and a ball joint on the bottom. There we go. Uh, so it's a bit limited. So uh, in terms of uh, articulation, All right, let me get this thing here. Get the show the tail in a bit. There we go not too bad <laughs> I need to work on my posing I like that though uh, you're able to move the legs apart and I think it works out now you have the power staff here which is uh, it's a little different from the chest so you can actually have two different ways to connect the power staff so here's one then there you can uh, actually transform the chest into a staff also which we'll go over in a bit so that's really cool that uh you can do either way although i kind of wish just only one piece but I, I see why they have this option too all right so that's that let's go ahead and bring in 
Megazord and I gotta combine them in that first mode. All right, here we go. We got the Megazord and Megazord is really tall compared to the Dragonzord. Now I forgot to mention about the <laughs> jaw here. You can move this up and down and I think I recall the older one has a problem because the red eyes here would always slope down. It's basically where the visor is for that uh, particular face mask. Yeah, but this one is working quite well. I think it's a uh, peg or it's it's designed a lot better. So there's that. Then I forgot to mention that you can rotate this because of the ball joint. And this is the time where we gotta combine it with the Megazord. I want to do the combination where it goes on top first before the other one. And uh, I think it's better to do it that way. All right. So first off, let's take out Megazord and just focus on the Dragon Zord. All right, uh, I think the best way is remove the tail here first. Put that aside. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, open this up. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, fold the hands down. There we go. And uh, push that in. Just make sure everything just lines up. There we go. And again, there is a tab here that uh, slides out kind of helps you pop this out otherwise I usually just kind of you know, pry it out I mean there's multiple ways to take that arm out all right so uh, let's see here let's go pop this out there we go and we're just gonna remove the core here from the chest just gotta be a little careful on this there we go take this out set it aside and uh, this one will peg back. And uh, I'm gonna start uh, folding it like this. Now, uh, this one, push up. I'm gonna fold this up here, like so. There we go. Same thing on the other side. And it, that's it. So let's set that aside there. Now this is uh, actually quite interesting. I said that because you have two options. You can either use this one or this big one. And this one has a hidden gimmick, which is a really cool. Let's see if I can uh, remember how to do this. All right. So uh, this thing is. Uh, folds out then you have the bottom part of the staff there we go it's like a foldable cane <laughs> that is really cool and hold on I'm missing something here yep I gotta push this out and uh, you have the handle here so there we go that's a really cool gimmick then uh, you just kind of fold this back here, just tabs, and along with this one too. Actually, I wonder if you can do it from the. Nope, it's sealed there. There we go. Just have to pry out just a little, uh, yeah, before you can use your nail. All right. This one has a smaller, like, than or a base than this one here obviously and a smaller handle well actually it's a little bigger but the support it's a little smaller now we got two options now go ahead and uh, close all the joints here so this one you can connect everything and have a giant drill there we go it's huge <laughs> which is great but you have a smaller base now if you want to use this one you can only use a segment of that which is basically here we're just gonna pop this out and uh, this will connect here oops there we go you only have three segments and I think can I yeah, this is a giant, uh, or not giant, but a bigger bowl joint. So uh, that's the only one. 
only thing you can use for this one right here. But you get a bigger base. Uh, it's like a trade-off. I wish you can do it uh, where you have a bigger tail and bigger base here than a smaller version on the other one. Yeah. Anyways, let's uh, put the stuff or the yeah the power. It looks like a spirit to me. What do, what do they call this power staff? What does say in this instruction manual here? Yeah, power staff. I don't know why they call it like that. All right, let's bring back Megazord. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. <laughs> All right, so bend down the shoulder arbor, close this uh, or fold this back. There we go. On the back side here, let's uh, pop this out for now. And then this one, I think we're gonna detach this. There we go. Get that little peg connection on the tail. And I think we are ready. Now this is gonna be really top heavy. But um, let's see how this is gonna work out. Gonna have this and uh, there is a hook right there. Not sure if you can see that. So it goes in. Should go in although you gotta make sure it's aligned up. Wait, wait, I think I'm missing something here. Wait. Alright, um I forgot to, uh, you gotta put the crest up. I was about to hit that. All right, so make sure you've cleared that yellow part there on the front of the or top of the Megazord. And there we go. Slide that forward a little bit. Now we're gonna turn this guy around. Now you got this uh, back part of the neck. It's gonna go there, and this is supposed to snap in place. There we go. It's gonna hold everything together. Put this back on. There. All right, and we have the Mega Dragon Zord. It's all its glory. It's huge. There we go. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, let, let me put this all the way back here. That way it'll be in frame. And now uh, we have the power staff here. I mean, you'll, you'll be able to hold that eventually, but uh, let's just put it there. Now, that is amazing. Alright, so part of the gimmick is I actually put uh, this back the way it is for the core, and you can attach this. There was a tab here, and we're going to fold this down and attach it to the left side of Megazord, or Dragon Megazord. All right, and uh, all right, I forgot. There is that metal tab here, which I kind of find. Uh, why is it sticking out? It's actually part of the other transformation too. All right, so uh, we're just gonna line that all up. There we go. like it's leaning forward now <laughs> it's it's one of those ridiculous and then you can also attach the tail on the other side uh, but the whole tail uh, I don't know if I want to do that it's ridiculous actually it involves uh, taking out the tip and attaching it to the two segments of the bigger tail uh, you know what? We gotta do it for the sake of the video. Sure, why not? All right, take that out. Got this back in, like so. So it looks like it shrunk. And likewise, we're gonna go here and uh, use this little joint here. Probably better to move it out like this. Whoa! Attach this. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna touch the. 
All right, more or less, we got it. So you gotta have the like the shield and the drill on both sides. Uh, let's see, let me get it right. Oh, there we go. Thing is heavy. All right. Ah, uh, got a little clanky on this uh, form. <laughs> As your friend of mine mentioned, you should, it's better on the other one, the where you have the dragon sword as your main core than this. And I kind of have to agree with that. This one is kind of looks meh. All right, let me go do that. Uh, actually, yeah, let me just uh, do a little bit of reset. All right, so uh, let's do this. All right, uh, gonna put this back. And uh, there we go. Combine that. We already did the legs here, which works out great. We're gonna take this out. And now uh, you got two tabs there. We're just gonna connect them together, form the chest. It's just gonna line it up. Oh, so bright. <laughs> the lamp is just getting reflected on the chest here. There we go. Then uh, you have. I forgot how to. Oh, right. Gotta push that down first. Actually, I wonder if I can just do it from here. Oh, there we go. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. That works out. Pull that back there, and I think we're ready. And uh, I guess I don't know. That's kind of weird. Let's pull this up here. All right. Grab the Triceratops. Connect it. Same thing with the saber tooth. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the mastodon here. All right, I think yeah, it's only gonna be attaching on this tab here. There we go. Something on the other side here. There we go. Alright, and on the back, they're just going to clip in there, there, there we go, reattach this, just going to have the blaster here, although I don't think it's ever used, <laughs> and there we go, we got the dragon sword, that's the chest yeah it's uh it's cool i like it especially how this feet here is kind of like the knees and uh, we're gonna use this one here just gonna i'm not sure if you guys see the handle the handle is just where the hand is i'm just gonna put it on the side there there we go, and you get the mammoth shield, which is right here. So, just gonna put that in there. Yeah. There we go. Finish! <laughs> oh, what do you know? You can actually hold the power stuff like this. So, the bottom part is being held by the left hand. You just kind of make it straight. Then you can actually hold the bottom part of the staff here with his right hand. It works. All right, then uh, this is demonstrating how much you can bend the knee uh, a little bit. Not sure if that's uh, being shown, but there you go. And you can hold, <laughs> hold it like a sword. Yeah, there we go. That's how you're supposed to hold it. Well, not really, but yeah. <laughs> you know, I hardly see it in this mode in the show. It's usually when you have the Dragon Zord on top of the Mega Zord, because later on when you have the Titanus, yeah, that's where you combine everything all together. Yeah, but I'm slowly liking this a lot more now, because uh, you have the chest. Uh, it's really ornate. I like that. 
as well as uh, this which uh, doubles as a knee armor yeah this mode is a lot better anyways that's about it for this review hope you guys like it and I uh, got mine from Tatsu Hobby uh, you can grab your Soul of Jagogans and other Bandai products from there I'll provide the link down below and that's about it for this review if you got questions let me know so until then this is Meads thanks for watching